And Peter, what are you waiting to hear for? To hear about in, the, in these coming hours? I think the actual the, the constituency inside the bomb is going to make a big difference about how we identify the person who did this or the persons who did this. Because if it's hydrogen peroxide, that points to Al Qaeda. If it's something else, could be a different, could be a right wing extremist group or some right. other group. I now turn it over to Wolf Blitzer in the situation for him for the latest on it. All right, folks. I went on the radio today, hours before this happened. It's on record the 15th of April, and I said I can see all the scripting with the TV shows, the movies, where it's the right-wing patriots that are going to stage the terror, they're going to merge with Al-Qaeda, Founding Fathers, the following, all these shows. And I said I see them staging it very soon because I see a crescendo of the preparation going. When you know what's going on, this stuff's all scripted. And just about 30 minutes ago, it's like 425, show people the atomic clock, 425 Central, so at about four, they come out and say that it could be right-wing groups. Now look, here is this establishment uh, authoritarian site uh, that, that poses as liberal. Alex Jones declares Boston a false flag operation, FBI behind every domestic terror plot. I put a link to the New York Times with that headline from a year ago. That's that. Why don't you tell them in your article that it was a link to the New York Times? You're not going to do that. Even before them, Salon, Boston explosion, a government conspiracy. We see a false flag to blame on the Tea Party to expand the TSA. I said a lot more than that. They're telling the police there will be bombings everywhere by right-wingers. They're saying, get ready to arrest Christians. I mean, this is mainstream news. Now they're saying it could be Saudis. My point is, is that it's Patriots Day in Boston while Oath Keepers is there. I would be crazy to not be concerned. Now, look at this. UM coach, bomb-sniffing dogs were at start-finish lines. They had loudspeakers saying, it's just a drill, everything's fine, and then boom, it happens. That's done over and over again. 7-7, seven, seven, the Madrid bombing, Gladio, they always have drills. So in case the compartmentalized group of mercenaries doing it with police uniforms or FBI, it, it, it varies, get caught, oh, it was part of the drill. Like when Putin's people got caught back in 99 planting bombs in a fourth building, they were going to blow up to blame on the opposition. Uh, they said, oh, it's part of a drill. And that's how they got out of the local police station. Look all this up. It's a drill. Oh, we were just practicing robbing the bank, you know, if you get caught. So that's what's going on. This article is key. UM coach, bomb sniffing dogs were at start and finish lines. And this is key. It proves that the drill was happening even before, during, and then after the marathon. Do you understand what that means? Do you understand what that means? Now, if you go to Infowars.com forward slash listen or follow us at Twitter at Real Alex Jones, we're doing live video coverage. I'll be live tonight, 7. Uh, you can also see our live feed right now with our reporters, Jakari Jackson, um, everybody, uh, Rob Dew, uh, David Knight, everybody, Adon Salazar, Kurt Nemo. They are all in here absolutely kicking butt on this in a war room situation. But we have confirmed that there have been drills throughout the day continually. Now check this out right here. We've got our incredible team in here working. John Baum behind the deal. Look, you can look right in there. We've got our crew uh, going right now. I'm about to go in there with Mike Adams. So, again, Infowars.com forward slash listen to find the free video feed and audio feeds. Get this out on your Twitter, Facebook, you name it. If we can put attention on the fact that they're running a drill, if it was a false flag, which the globalists have done it over and over again. They've been caught over and over again. Gladio, you name it. Cars, I said a few months ago, the West is staging bombings as an excuse to be here and to destabilize the government. In Afghanistan, uh, British MI6 has been caught staging bombings, even London Guardian, in Iraq to keep the war going. Remember that? We